Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, MRSA, uh, which is the abbreviation of methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus infection. You know. uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, uh, Staphylococcus uh, aureus are uh, also known as Staphylococcus or SRS or SA, is a common bacteria uh, in the nose and the skin of the people and the animals. And MRSA means the uh, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, and uh, it is a specific uh, uh, Staph bacteria that is often resistant to the several types of antibiotics, you know. Uh, and most of the uh, SRS is uh, methicillin uh, susceptible, which means killed by the methicillin and most other common treatments, you know. And in general, uh, the healthy people with no cuts, abrasions or uh, breaks on the skin are at low risk of getting infected. And uh, about one out of every three people, which means 33%, uh, are estimated uh, to carry staph in their nose and uh, usually without any illness you know and about two in uh, uh, hundred which means uh, two percent carry MRSA and uh, both adults and the children uh, uh, may have these uh, uh, bacteria you know and uh, uh, like uh, uh, the common SRRs uh, may cause the deep or the life-threatening infections in the people, you know. And uh, because it is uh, resistant to the commonly used antibiotics, so it can be harder to treat or become worse if the right treatment is delayed, you know. And uh, it is one of the bacteria listed uh, by the United States Center of Disease Control and Prevention as a superbug, you know. Uh, uh, resistant to multiple antibiotics you know so when choosing the antibiotic uh, uh, you need to be very very careful you know and uh, uh, MRS skin infections can be picked up either uh, in the general community or the healthcare facilities you know now in the hospitals the MRS can cause wound infections after surgery you know and pneumonia are the infections of the catheters in certain the veins, you know. And the invasive MRS infections include like soft tissue infections or heart valve infections, you know, and uh, bone infections uh, and abscesses in the organs, joint infections and the bloodstream infections known as uh, septicemia or blood poisoning, you know. Uh, because uh, uh, healthcare required uh, MRSA can be life-threatening, so uh, uh, the National Healthcare Safety Network and the uh, Emerging Infections Program of the uh, CDC monitor the hospital MRSA rates, you know, and uh, uh, the CDC also advises hospitals and the healthcare professionals uh, about preventing and lowering the MRSA infection cases rates, you know. And uh, the rates of uh, MRSA bloodstream infection is in the hospitals or the hospitalized patients is nearly 50% from uh, 1997 to 2007 since the hospitals began using uh, like uh, so it's lowered by 50% because uh, of the new rules and regulations and the hospital started uh, using the prevention measure you know and uh, uh, it is transmitted from the person to person by direct contact with the skin, with the inhaling droplets from the coughing or uh, the items uh, touched by the someone who has the MRSA infection, you know. And the people can be a carrier of MRSA even if they don't have any infection. And this is called the colonization, you know. And a common place for the MRSA colonization with the MRSA uh, is inside the nose, you know. And one way to keep the visitors or uh, the healthcare staff uh, 
from carrying the morse from one patient to other is uh, the follow the uh, guidelines you know uh, by wearing the disposable gloves and gowns and uh, uh, masks as well sometimes you know and uh, when visiting the hospitalized people who have MRSA you know especially and uh, a sign at uh, the door provides instructions that should be carefully followed you know so uh, frequent uh, uh, use of the sterilizers you know which are the most commonly available in the hospital corridors and everywhere, you know, uh, after using, uh, after uh, meeting the patients and uh, frequently, in fact, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.